Next, we're going to take a look at our toolpath in Verify. Now, we have a solid model here for the part. We can see here there's just one solid model. And we didn't do any milling on the part. So if you just tried to verify this on a block, well, the tool would immediately crash into the block. But let's go into Verify. And I've set my moves per step, moves per refresh to 1. Lowered my speed just a little bit. And we're going to go into our options so that we can describe our stock. And we're going to tell it the stock will be defined from the solid model. And we'll pick the solid model right from our drawing. I'm going to pick the model, and if you'll remember, the model didn't have any holes in it. It just had circles on top. So we want to verify our drilling toolpath right from this solid model. So let's hit machine. And we can see it do all the spot drilling and then the drilling and then the counter boring operation. And there's the completed part. So when you describe your operations, if you're creating new operations, it's a good idea to set your retract plane, your top of stock, and your depth incremental because that way it will all be in relationship to the actual geometry that you select. And that's one of the big advantages of associativity.